Hi, I'm Victor. In this video, I'm gonna cover AbbVie. This is the big pharmaceutical health products company that you may have heard of. If you've heard of Botox, you've heard of AbbVie. This is a stock that I've owned for a long time and it's been a good stock for me. It's uh, gone up in price and it pays a really nice dividend. I'd like to take you through my process of investing and in this case, uh, why I'm an investor in AbbVie. There's three things I look for in investment. I wanna know that I'm getting a discount on the stock price so I can see my investment go up in value. I wanna know that the company is operating and performing well. And I wanna know that it's a good time to buy additional shares or if I wasn't in a stock to get into buying a particular company. Now let's take a look at AbbVie. So AbbVie has a nice diversified portfolio of products in the biopharmaceutical industry. It treats a variety of diseases with a variety of drugs, many of them well-established. So that's a good thing. They also have a part of the business that is more cosmetic. So it's kind of cash patients would be buying those products like Botox. And that is a little concern as we head into a recession. Cash businesses like that may see uh, a headwind in fewer patients wanting to have these elective surgeries or, or treatments. So that's one thing I'm going to keep my eye on. But overall, I love their business, their, their diversification. They have operated and performed really well over the last five years. The stock price has done really well over the last five years. Uh, if you had bought shares five years ago, held them to this point, you'd be up 128%, which is great. And it's also been a really good stock for the last year. Uh, we've had a lot of volatility in 2022, and this stock's held up fairly fairly well. It uh, pays a nice dividend, and it holds you know your capital quite well. So I'm glad that I've got this stock in my portfolio. I believe that the AbV stock currently is discounted by 53%. Let me explain how I get to that number. I like to discount free cash flows that I expect from a company. In this case here, AbV generates great free cash, 8% yield on free cash. This is a big company and they generated $22 billion of free cash flow in 2021. So that was a great year for free cash flow, um, but it's been a consistent grower of both revenue and free cash. So great thing to see there. Uh, I'm gonna grow free cash uh, expectations by 5% in years two, three, four. Then I'm gonna have a terminal value using a long-term growth rate of 2%, which is reasonable, maybe a little conservative. And then I took the middle of their weighted average cost capital uh, provided by Finbox, it's a midpoint. This is a really solid company, really. Uh, what I love about them is if you study their financials, it's just an upward trajectory, a nice smooth upward path same thing with cash flow and that really builds confidence in my eyes so if i take the free cash flow and project it out and take a terminal value for all future cash flows beyond year four i get a net present value an intrinsic value of the company of 408 billion dollars but the current market cap is 273 billion so it leaves a nice discount for uh, buyers of their shares in fact down to a share basis I think the per share value is $230 per share, but the current stock price is $151. Now let's take a look at the performance of AbbVie. Over the last five years, they've grown 19% top line revenue, which is really good. Free cash flow last year, $22 billion, just great free cash flow with a yield of 8% if you compare that free cash flow to the market cap. Dividend yield of 3.73, really nice dividend. And their price earnings is a little bit high at 21.66. Uh, and that's because this is a, a desirable stock, a very consistent stock that a lot of investors want to get into. In Q1, their Q1 release was a, it was a little disappointing in that they didn't grow as much as I would have liked. Their free cash flow was great. Net income went up 26%. That was really good. And then they lowered their guidance slightly, just slightly. Uh, the market didn't like it and reduced uh, the stock price by 6% on the day that they announced. I'm not too concerned about it. This has been a consistent company, excellent management team, and I expect that they're going to do just fine in 2022 and future years. They're going to continue to grow um, and generate free cash. I love free cash. That's the basis of all my valuations. And they're going to pay a really nice dividend. 
um, and they're going to be a, just a stable company for me. I'm going to buy more shares. I think uh, currently in 22, it is May 21st, 2022. Just about every stock has been discounted with a few exceptions, but really not a lot of exceptions. So I think it's a good time to buy companies that I want to own for the next five to 10 years. I've owned AbbVie for a long time and I want to own more shares. So I'm going to be buying more shares of AbbVie. The scorecarding AbbVie is just a really good company, very well run. And the stock has just been a, a really good anchor stock in my portfolio. It's right up there with Chevron. Chevron's more you know cyclical than AbbVie, which is a pharmaceutical company, but it's just a really good stock for me. Um, you can currently buy it at a discount. Um, that's why I'm going to be buying more shares as I believe they're currently discounted. Just the company's very well operated. Every facet of their business is very well run. And the timing is really good because the market is so darn, you know, bad. It's we're in bear territory now, and it's a good time to be buying companies that I really believe in. Videos for entertainment purposes only. I'm not recommending you buy AbV stock or any other stock or security. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it interesting. And if you could do me a favor and like my video, that'd really help the channel. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I release a new video. Thanks again for watching. Good luck investing in 2022.